नमस्कार माय डियर फ्रेंड्स सो एज वी हैव बीन सीइंग द एलटी स्पाइस सिमुलेशन ट्रेनिंग्स सो इन दिस सेशन व्हाट वी विल डू इज विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट स्कीमेटिक एंड वेब फॉर्म फॉर्मेटिंग्स ओके सो लेट अस से यू वांट टू इंक्रीज द विड्थ ऑफ यू नो लाइक लाइन और यू हैव टू हैव अ बेटर व्यू ऑफ दिस वेब फॉर्म्स और बैकग्राउंड्स और समथिंग लाइक दैट और हाउ यू कैन हैव अ बेटर व्यू ऑफ योर स्कीमेटिक डिजाइन ओके सो लेट अस क्विकली अंडरस्टैंड फर्स्ट द यूनिट्स दैट वी हैव बीन यूजिंग इन द एलटी स्पाइस so this is very very useful that you have to understand either you write it capital m or small m let us say you are writing the value of r as 1m or 1m both are actually 1 milli ohm okay not 1 mega ohm so you have to understand capital m is used for milli or uh, small m is also used for milli similar to that u n for nano p for pico f for m uh, you know like femto similar to that capital k or small k both have same meanings that is kilo and if you have to use mega then you have to use mez okay so mez or a small mez both will be used for mega and similar to that giga will be used for t uh, g or small g or giga similar to that tera so this is the only thing that you have to understand now let us quickly uh, you know like simulate one circuit what we had done in the our previous session and at the same time we will try to understand how we can format our backgrounds and we can you know like uh, change our scales and all those things okay so let's open the circuit <coughs> now as you can see uh, we have this particular circuit we have one uh, you know like a current source and we have two resistors one is 5 kilo and 10 kilo ohm okay and as you can see uh, we have the current across i1 which is this one which is 1 uh, ampere and minus 1 ampere now let us say as soon as you move here you can see there are like 0 ohm 0.2 ohm 0.4 ohm like that so as soon as you see here there is a scale appearing so if you right click you have the top and tick and bottom okay so what is the thing that you want you can change it so if you want to have uh, let's say tick as a uh, 0.5 okay then you can put 0.5 and only 0.5 will appear this is how you can do the formatting okay similar to that if you want you can put x axis also that was y axis so y axis you can do let us say i want to have 2 ampere and minus 2 ampere minus 2 ampere so this is very handy sometimes because we you want to see little bit above and little bit down okay both and similar to that if you want you can put uh, <coughs> some other trace or something like that that will that will see later now let us talk about the uh, you know like uh, uh, x axis so x axis also you can see there is a cursor so cursor you right click and you can see what is the left side that you want what is the right side that you want up to 5 millisecond you had run that's why it is just giving 5 millisecond you want you can have the waveform up to 10 millisecond as well okay so it will give you up to 10 millisecond if you want it uh, <coughs> right side it is not taking but however th this is the way you can always change it and you can see uh, let us say i want it up to 2 millisecond only then it will change it to 2 millisecond understood so whatever the amount of time you have run doesn't matter uh, you can always reduce it to lower values okay now suppose you want to measure this particular value let's say it is 1 milli 1 ampere it is showing but you are not able to see it okay so what you do you go to this particular name i1 you can see so this is the particular name that you have to check so this is the hand mark that is coming now here you click it left click you will see cursor 1 so you can see there is a cursor 1 that is appearing you can drag it ov over here now you can see horizontal line and vertical line so horizontal line is this one this is showing 1 and vertical line is this one this is showing 1 so cursor 1 vertical line is this and horizontal line is this okay so you can see what is the value of vertical line and horizontal line now what you have to do is go to this cursor and hold it left click and hold it and it drag it okay so drag it if you do then it will be give, able to give you so let's say i am going to keep it on the top so you can see uh, vertical value is coming around 998 milli amperes that is close to 1 ampere that you can see got it let us say i want one more cursor so that i can have a difference of cursor 1 and cursor 2 so you go to uh, this particular value this particular parameter and right click then you can <coughs> you know uh, right click then you can change the color that is different thing that will tell you later just click once more left click you will have another cursor so you can see there is cursor number 2 you can see cursor number 2 got it as soon as you keep on this cursor number 2 is appearing now you hold it and you drag it so let us say i am going to drag it at the bottom 
so you can see cursor number two is down okay and their horizontal position and vertical position is there so you'll see vertical position is minus 993 milliamperes okay if you want you can have little bit much closer so you can see cursor number one cursor number two so you can see the difference between these two <coughs> you can see the vertical difference is uh, minus 1.99 that is around 2 amperes so it is minus showing because it is doing cursor 2 minus cursor 1 okay it is doing di uh, showing difference cursor 2 minus cursor 1 okay <coughs> that's all so this is how you can uh, uh, you know like see the cursor another thing is let us say I'm going to just remove this let us say this is the current through uh, you know like R1 and this is the color that you am not you know like no, I am not able to view it no, not visible properly okay <coughs> so go here uh, as soon as you go here you, uh, once you click the cursor will appear that is that is already done okay just delete it I don't want uh, I don't want the cursor again okay let us say I am going to have the uh, you know like uh, I'm going to have this particular blue color which I want it to be some other color okay so I just remove this <coughs> seizure button and then go to this particular position okay on that position and then right click and change the color so you want you can put it red and that became red so now it is very much visible okay and at the same time as I told you in the beginning itself once you go to left side you're going to see the scale right click it if you want you can put it like uh, 2 amperes and minus 2 ampere and then put it so this is how it will appear on your chosen scale got it okay now coming back to the preferences so if you right click you will have lot of preferences but in instead of this what I'll do is I'll just tell you one more thing go to this particular you know like a uh, plot setting and you can put grid also so the grid will appear okay as soon as you go to plot setting grid will appear got it similar to that <coughs> even if you are there in is you know like uh, schematic what happens is I'll do the permanent you know like change let us say whatever doing uh, you are doing right now those changes are appearing only for this particular simulation okay or this particular circuit that you are doing but what I want to do is let us say I want to do it permanently then what you can do is go to these tools okay and you can go to uh, I mean color preferences okay so go to this color preferences you have web forms you have schematic you have netlist everything is there okay so web forms you want you can change the color to some other values you want let's say blue color you want to change it so you can change it to some other color or you can put this RGB values this is how it will change the colors okay and you put apply then that color will appear got it so you can see this is the color that was set just now and you can you are seeing this so I measured this current and you are seeing this particular color okay now let us do one more thing uh, you are going to this particular thing and go to this control panel in this control panel you have you have complete changes that you want to do in your schematic okay so let us go to web form so web form you can see data trace width it is showing three so as you can see uh, let us say I'm just drawing some other one so now if you apply then it became very thin okay let us say I'll just put some three four uh, writing uh, <coughs> three four web forms and now again I'll go to there tools control panel go to web forms and then you play with your data traces let's say two and then you can see uh, play okay then it will become little bit thicker so this is how you can make your data trace width as per your choice by going to web forms and changing it to one two three whatever it is okay now coming back to other forms let us say schematic so where is schematic <coughs> our spice is here okay or we have hackets we have save defaults we have web forms we have operations okay so let me go into this yes <coughs> we have drafting option drafting option is actually the circuit options okay so circuit option generally pen thickness will make sure that what is the you know like width of these lines or pins so if you make it one it will become thin so you can see it will become thin correct 
now if you make it little bit thicker then it will look much better so it's up to you like what kind of you know like circuits that you are having and how you are going to make changes on that so what you have to do go to drafting option so i'll just make sure again i'll go to uh, go to you uh, go to this place tools control panel go to this go to this drafting option and in drafting you can make changes of your choice <coughs> so this is how it is appearing thin okay <coughs> so alright i hope you have understood now like uh, changing the uh, pin thickness or you know like uh, changing the waveform colors or uh, you have uh, so many different different colors tra data trace width okay or waveforms if you go you have different colors okay color schemes you can go and this color schemes you can change you have like one two three four five six six into two twelve colors are there total so you want you can change any of the colors that you want okay so this will be first color second color third color fourth color like that if you want you can change it whichever way you want it okay so just apply it and let's go all right guys hope you have a good understanding now now you have an idea of how to uh, draw the different kinds of thickness or something like that as i mentioned if you want to have the cursor go to this particular cursor and let's play uh, you know like a left click then it will follow that cursor only you will see see that plot only you are you are seeing only this plot okay you are not able to put it on red that you understand now let us say i'll just come out if you want to put it on red then i have to go to ir1 and then it will follow the red one okay so this is the cursor number one again if you want to have one more cursor this will be cursor number two okay so this is the cursor one and cursor two and you want you can see the difference between these two on your own because this particular scale is not showing proper reading if you want you can right click it and so some 0.5 or something like that 0.5 <coughs> So it will show 0.5 grids. Okay. So all right. Uh, if you do have any questions regarding the formatting of the circuits or something like that, <coughs> you can put down your questions in the comment box, and we shall be able to answer you out. Similar to that, lot of other options are there. Let us let us do quickly two minutes. I just want to you know like uh, <coughs> run it and see what is the current across this. So you are able to see current across this. Just I'll just double click. Current is coming like this. Quickly uh, come here and you know like. Uh, 400 micro ampere it is showing so let us i want it uh, uh, 0.5 milliamperes okay and here minus 0.5 milliamperes okay so it is showing only plus minus 0.5 plus minus 0.5 right but it was minus 0.8 so you have to understand like minus 0.8 should be included in the uh, range that you are taking talking about <coughs> voltage is v1 so you can see voltage is here uh, you know like 8 volt exactly if you want you have to have top value other one or bottom value other one you, you can do that as well what is the input voltage so input voltage is 12 volt so this is the problem that we face always right <coughs> let us say i have a value of 8 volt and 12 volts i don't want to have this scale i want to have 0 to 15 volt so i can have top as 15 volt and bottom as 0 volt okay so it will show the value from 0 to 15 so it is now easy to understand what is my v of v1 so v of v voltage of v1 node is 8 volt okay Sim uh, similar to that if you want to have you know like uh, let us say a reading of 1 1 volt each so i can have 1 1 volt each so i have the 1 1 volt reading so 0 to 15 volt reading is there i can easily see my green color is at 8 volt understood so this is the advantage of uh, having the scale on your own fingertips understood similar to that let us say i wanted to uh, find the power so you uh, you have to go let's say across r4 what is the power dissipation across this so press alt then it changes the scheme you can see changes the scheme and then just left click you will get the power so power is coming here in milliwatts so you can see uh, the voltage of v1 multiplied by i of r1 that is the power because it is zero so v of v1 is actually voltage across this r r4 itself and current across r1 uh, uh, sorry r4 so you can see this color is showing you around 6.4 milliwatts understood so good uh, you can see uh, this is uh, if you click here you will see get the color also uh, uh, cursor also and this part particular cursor is showing you the vertical value which is going to be seen here and this vertical uh, value is showing you how much 
6.399 milliwatts that is 6.4 milliwatts here also you can see in the scale okay so good uh, if you do have any questions regarding this uh, you can put down your questions in the comment box and we shall be able to answer you out and whenever you have to see only one values you can always uh, come out from this graph like only double click only one values and you will see that only values okay suppose you have three four values together voltage value or power value on that or you know like power value across this so it has become very complex so what you want to do you want to come out you can delete one of the let's say press delete button and you can delete one by one each one of them okay let us say if you want to delete each one of them so you can delete it like this uh, one by one you can delete otherwise the very simple rule is just double click on only one you want to get that only will come up okay thank you